Hello, my beautiful people. How are we going? Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm a cash-based poster here in Western Australia. And if this is your first time joining, thank you for clicking on. I'm sure um, there is something here for everyone because I do a little bit of cash stuffing. I do savings challenges. I do rollover monies. And now and again, I'm dabbling in some reviews, but I ain't that great at that. So... <laughs> Bear with me while I navigate through that world. But this is me just documenting my journey and getting out of the rat race of living paycheck to paycheck. My husband and I made a goal for ourselves to try and save accumulatively, which is saving, sinking funds, money in the bank altogether, 22000 for the year 2022. I hope some of you, if you haven't, um, do go back to a couple of videos but prior to this where I did a tally of October and where we're sitting at, we're doing really well. And I don't think I'll hit the $22,000 mark at the end of the year, purely because a lot of expenses, we just came back from vacation. So I used our sinking fund for that. We um, got Christmas coming along. My mom is going back to home. So I would like to send some money with her or buy gifts actually, so that I can send some gifts with her. So there's going to be a lot of expenses coming up, which I'm going to be using my sinking funds for, but that's what they're there for, so that I don't feel stressed about spending the money. All right, so today is rollover day. So that means I'm going to get paid. Before I get paid or before I pull out the money for the salaries, I like to empty out our wallets and pretty much I've got a challenge where I'm trying to build up like a savings and for my rollover money but i'm also going to be using some of the money from my rollover to fund some of the challenges that i have all right as always i have very long intros if you're new here but that's just me i i like to over explain sometimes i like to chit chat so i do apologize actually no i won't apologize because that's who i am i hope you do <laughs> stick or, stick around for that um, what have I got here? So I've got nothing left in groceries. I've got nothing left in takeaway and coffee. Oh, wow. So I've got my entire money from spending. And that's because we went on vacation. So I had my vacation fund with me. So I didn't end up using the spending money. Isn't that great? Oh, but that won't happen all the time. So I'll put this. Uh, so I don't need this wallet anymore. So I'll put this back and put it to the side. And then, so I've got that there. What else have I got? So this is just, uh, if you're new here, I do not spend any $5 notes that I may get as part of change. So when I give a $50 and I get $5 notes and change, I just put it to the side and I pretend that it's already spent. So it actually becomes part of me forcing myself to save this money. All right, so what I've got, I've got 150 so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 60 dollars in five dollar notes here. So 210 dollars just in rollover money. Isn't that great? Uh, but that's not always, guys, and that's because I had vacation monies with me. So all right, so what I want to do first, oh, I do have all these coins as well. Do I want to do that now? All right, so no, first we're going to do some of the challenges. So this one is my Bible saving challenge, and this is from Little Helpful Files, Lindsay. Um, beautiful channel, beautiful person. I love her messages. Every time I, you know, she's like she's like my pocket of sunshine on the, um, this YouTube world because not only do I love watching cash stuffing videos and saving challenges videos, but also trying, also getting um the lord's prayer or the lord's message through them is just amazing so what have i got here i've got one two three four five six seven so that's five so each letter for me is five dollars so ten fifteen twenty twenty five 
30, 35. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use that $50 note that was there and take out $15 from here if there is. Ugh, maybe not. Okay, how about I do this? All right. Now do 35. So I've got that 20, 30, and 35. And this challenge is completed. So this one gave me 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105 dollars in this challenge, which is great. So I have finished all of these once, which is absolutely great. So I know, I think I know where I'm going to put this money to. I'm going to give this money to hubby as Black Friday sales, like, you know, a little bonus. I think he will like that, won't he? <laughs> Gotta look after the hubby. He's doing so much as well. Like this journey is not possible without the support and love of my husband. So I think he deserves that because the last two challenges that were here, I used it because um, I had my hair done and, you know, so, so, so I've used it for self-care. So I think it's time I give that to my hubby. All right, now time to do what I want to do. I'm going to use some of this money. I actually am feeling really lost. I don't know whether to do some challenges or to actually just count the change that I have here. All right, no, I'm going to do something. I'm going to go into Christmas and Black Friday. Yes, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into... Christmas and I'm going to put let's put green uh, let's do this color don't know if I like this color but I don't all right so I've got 100 there so I'm going to put 50 I'm going to put that full 100 into Christmas because Christmas really needs to start bulking up okay so i've got 100 150 60 70 80 90 100 so that's 200 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 so 300 10 20 30 40 50 so 350 for christmas so far and that's just using rollover and you'll probably start seeing me use a lot of my rollover money towards Christmas moving forward purely because I really want to really bulk up this envelope and then I would use yep I know where I'm going to put I'm going to go into Black Friday And put that 20 in Black Friday. Yeah, I've already colored that. So I've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. And that's Black Friday. This one I reckon I'll end up using quite quickly because all the Black Friday sales are already starting to pop up. Um, I've got a few things in my wish list, so. All right, now let's do some roll over, I think. Actually, what I might do, because I might end up using some of those fives. So. In my $5 challenge, sorry, I'm all over the place. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five dollars to finish off that $5 challenge. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are extras. So I'll leave that one out for now. 
these two fives, I will go back into Black Friday. No, wrong binder. As always, I keep picking up the wrong binder. Okay, Black Friday. And I'll fill in the 10 here. Because, as I said, I need to bulk up some of these. And I'm going to start, and I think that's how I'm going to move into next year as well. Still save $5 notes because I think that has worked for me and my husband quite well. But use it towards savings challenges and sinking funds so that, you know, those keep getting bulked up. Uh, so we've got now we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. 120, 130. See, just using a little bit of rollover money that's bulked up as well. All right, now let's see what are we adding to rollover challenges. Uh, rollover challenge. So that would mean I need to take the coins out. Uh, the last rollover challenge that I did, the lovely Caroline um, from Caracash, she watched my video and she told, you know, some people just have an amazing eye. Like this is something I did not notice at all. But she left me a comment on that video and told me about this coin. I don't know if you guys can get a good look at it. And she picked it up and she said that this is actually not meant to be a circulated coin and it'd be worth me collecting it and i'm so grateful for that so i actually went back and went through my <laughs> jar of change and pulled it out and put it towards my um coin collection now that i've got going so very grateful thank you caroline for <laughs> reaching out and telling me about that coin because obviously i wouldn't know any better i just look for the the colored two dollar coins but it's nice to know and, you know, be able to have a bit of a collection. And if I don't make use of it, my son might get into it. So this is more for him, I think. All right. So that's one thing with it. $2 there. $2.50 $2 there. How many $2 coins have I got? Oh, yep. That makes a 10 and that's four. So let me just bring out my sheet here. Oops, I don't know what I dropped there. Hope you can see my sheet. I need to pull, put this back up here a bit. Let me grab a pen. All right, so rollover. I'm not adding anything um, in that. In fact, I haven't added anything much. All right, so $5 notes. Um, the last time round was 330 sitting in there. And this time, what are we adding? So you got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Into the $5 notes. And there you have it. I have just completed another challenge in this video, which is absolutely great, which is the $5 challenge. This challenge is from um, Deezer Dollar Budgets. She's here on Etsy. And I don't know if I want to count these here, but I do know that I could do a bit of cash condensing maybe in the next round. Oh Lord, please don't make me count this. But at the same time, I am curious to make sure it is 375. So let's count here. So 100, 120, 130, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 
put another 100. So that's 300 there. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And of course, I am wrong. <laughs> I meant to have 375 and I counted 370. I am going to count that off camera and just double check and make sure that it is 375 because I'm not going to put you guys through that. No, that's not fair. <laughs> I am no good at counting. I I think if you are an OG, you know that. I count and count and over count. So it's meant to be 375. I'm going to say it's 375, but if it's not, I'll come back and let you guys know. I'll, I'll do an edit and do that. All right, so $2 coins. We had 138 sitting. I've got $10 that I'm adding in, so it makes it 148. In the $1 coins, I had 47. I'm adding $4 in, um, making it 51. And then in the silvers, I had $2.55. All right, Mr. T, it's okay. I'll get you out soon. He's locked in my room and he can't get out. <laughs> um, 40 plus 255. So making it 48.95. All right, let's do totals. So what is the balance for rollover? Mr. T, I'm busy. All right, so we're sitting at $702.95 in rollover money. So how much did I add this time around? 45 plus 10 plus 4, $2.55. So we added $61.55 into rollover money this time around. I hope you can see that. Yes, you can. Oh, I think. <laughs> $61.55 was added into rollover, making the total $702 in rollover money. That is great. What am I going to do with that money? Uh, I might find Christmas if I'm falling short. Otherwise, this is going part of my emergency fund. That's basically how I thought about it. Maybe something else will come up in the meantime and I have to use it. Let's see. I haven't put an exact purpose to this, but this is where it's sitting at. All right, so I don't want the video to get too long. I want to thank all of you for being part of my journey. So make sure you do um, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I love connecting with all of you guys. Take care, everyone. Look after yourselves. Be kind to yourself, kind to everyone else. Until the next time, bye.